Welcome to the beautiful Sunrise Park Resort in the White Mountains of Arizona. Hey, Colby Landon here. Welcome to another episode on Skills and Builds YouTube channel. Today's video isn't going to be the best of my filming or editing. However, I'm going to take you through my day and everything we talked about for the plans for this year and a ton of information I learned about the park that's currently going on and information on future plans and ideas they have for the bike park and other things here. I hope this video gets people excited to come up here. There's so much cool stuff going on and let's get into it. So Brian and Kelsey shuttled me up the mountain as we discussed plans for the year as well as checked out some of the stages from the big mountain enduro race they had a few weeks ago and i gotta tell you these stages these courses were really awesome it might have been some of my favorite spots on the entire mountain and also um this is actually on the mountain over on the on the apache peak um next to um the lift that's currently going so actually in the next um year or two they're planning on opening another lift so we're actually gonna have three mountain bike lifts um i'm gonna kind of go all over the place because i learned so much information so oh i made the sign somehow they were everybody here was surprised and kind of stoked to see me on it they they didn't know i was gonna be on it i didn't know i was gonna be on it um but that's kind of funny anyways um Brian's told me they're up to around 20 trails that are currently open at sunrise. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, like I said, uh, they're going to open up another mountain in the next year or two, which will be a whole new experience and a whole new set of terrain as well. Each mountain has completely different terrain, really. Um, here we are checking out the sunrise uh, dual slalom course that I built with Kane last year. And this is current conditions. This was today. So it look at, it's looking pretty good. Like it's got a lot of loose stuff, but if we sweep it off, it's going to be nice. However, we're going to do a lot of major changes to this thing. Um, I'm hoping to make some stuff bigger, some lips a lot more mellow, some um, jumps taller, longer. Um, we're going to go through that in this video. Here's a uh, me and Amias racing last year and man we were going out it was so much fun um these corners and everything were so good we're going to change up this tabletop we're going to change up this section that's going to be the biggest change is this drop down section we're going to try and figure out how to do a couple two turns throughout there into that big step on step off jump below um hope to make that thing a few feet longer as well here's another look from when we finished the course last year now, scraping dirt up out here was difficult. Finding dirt, enough dirt to build what we were hoping to was, was hard. And there was so many boulders. As you can see right there, there's boulders. But those are the ones that fell off. We buried 100 times that boulders. And under each major jump is a massive boulder field. Um, so we'll get back to the slalom course in a little bit. Brian and I were going through courses talking about how we could better link the jump line to the slalom course as well as possibly build more of a jump line below it yeah we'll get to that later too here's an area we were checking out where we're talking about building a skills course up here we're currently mining the dirt back there but this whole hill behind it that green grass you see like when you pull into the park you might be able to we might end up having a whole skills park there in the next year or two so here's me on my very first run last year um, on the jump line. Now the jump line, um, and as you'll see later in the video, building all this stuff was no joke. Like if it were this year right now, it, I haven't. It's it's dry and sunny, and I, I was building for four or five hours yesterday, and the dirt was awesome. It looked it was dry on the top, but it was so good underneath. When we built all this stuff, we didn't have a chance to ride it, even if. Even if we had our bikes there, we, we, we were building so, so much and um, trying to get everything done. It was very difficult. A lot of this stuff was through a wash and, you know, I'm trying to build for long term for drainage. And they told me, hey, even if we don't open the jump line, just do as much as you can. So I know people had high expectations. I did, too. I wanted to get so much more done. But in the 20 ish days we were here, it rained 19 of them. And this was the last day we were there. Um, another thing too is, uh, I had a rush to finish it. My, 
when we're building this whole line, as you could see, you have to drive over everything with the tractor. And when it was soupy, muddy, wet, when we were building it, um, I didn't quite get to work all the jumps as, as good as I would have liked to. And I'm glad we got to open it, but I'm, I know we can do so much better and everything's going to be tuned up. Everything's going to be a lot better shaped and I promise you guys are going to love it. Now here's the day we finished the slalom course. We never even got to test it once or ride it once. It was soaking wet the entire time, but we were stoked we got it done and we were really happy that it soaked in so well because it's still holding up amazing. Here's a video of our average day working, just soaking wet. I had like blankets all over me in my open cab and people trying to help were just like stuck shoveling heavy soupy mud. And it's kind of pointless with the tractor being the only one really able to move dirt. So help last year was difficult, um, but hey, we got the job done. Um, no joke it was raining every day and and the thing too was it would rain around 12 to 2 p.m really hard for for let's say 45 minutes to two hours and then sometimes it'd rain two or three times in a day and um that just gave it all kinds of new challenges traction wise my tractor was the only one to make it up the mountain we were grabbing dirt from the bottom of the hills and doing five to ten minute runs for one scoop one and a half yards two yards maybe three with the mud piled super high three yards of dirt per scoop just just a crazy amount of effort just to get dirt i couldn't go ripping this mountain apart any more than the course itself and i didn't want to that's that's not my idea of good building and there was just a lot of obstacles this area in particular like right where i'm standing was a massive boulder field that took days to work through. Um, <laughs> you just never really know what you're going to find underneath the dirt. Sometimes you find a pocket where it's amazing and you got to change plans along the way a lot of times. There, there we go. There's a, there's a scoop of dirt for you guys. Go all the way up and down the mountain. My tractor goes like six, seven miles an hour, full throttle, and not that fast uphill. So it's just... Uh, dealing with circumstances we have better circumstances this year drier dirt better working areas up higher on the mountain where both courses are is better conditions overall so i'm able to work through stuff a little better a little faster um anyways uh certain sections and certain times man it couldn't have been any better but when all that mud dried into the tracks every day and pressure washing and digging it out there was like a foot thick of mud under my tracks every day. It took at least an hour to clean. Um, otherwise, it would get so wound up in there, it'd start scraping all all over my tractor and stuff. It, it, was, a, it was a difficult challenge to do. But there's some uh, speed for you on my tractor. That's, you know, when we ran out of the dirt on, on the actual course and I was scraping the roads for dirt up there for miles, probably. <laughs> but um, just doing anything I could to keep things looking nice and clean and, um, you know, make the most of it. I would have ideally liked to have hundreds of loads of dirt at the top, at the everywhere on the course, but it just, it just couldn't happen out here. Um, man, uh, I think what's cool is... Um, We'll be able to, as I said, it was so hard to get dirt, but uh, we'll get it done this year. So we'll be able to tweak the jumps and dial in stuff a lot better. And um, But what's cool is the corners are there. The big, bulky corners are there. And, man, they can hold a ton of speed. And, you know, they can only get better over the next couple of weeks. And in other news, uh, Tonto Gravity Riders are up here flagging out a new trail. Kind of below the trail, they just built the Jog A Trail. The Jog A Trail is a green trail, super um, basic, which they've been tweaking and adding on to. There's actually a ton of options on that trail and features, I should have better said, um, that uh, still need a little worked out. And that's what they're up to up here. They're going to make that trail a lot more fun as well as get the next trail planned, which is a blue trail. So Jog A is just like a fun green trail. Pretty awesome for beginner riders. And with, like I said, some features. But then 
the new trail they're building is going to be a lot more advanced. And what's cool is both those trails kind of lead straight into the jump line, which is going to get a major, major renovation this year. Um, here's a video of me doing a, a race run. I think this is my very first race run. And it was kind of funny. I got way less practice on the course than everyone. As silly as that sounds, I know I built it, so I felt fine. But um, it was kind of uh, intense going hard at it because I hadn't even practiced it yet because it just was building and I broke my bike. A um, bunch of factors happened. Man, I'm quickly realizing I'm not going to be able to fit all this information in this video. I'm going to be doing a daily video on the park. Um, so make sure you guys check in if you want to hear a lot more. I got to say one last thing is when I got here, there's more tents set up. The area was so much more beautiful. Um, when you show up at the park, it's, a, it's just a better vibe. They got the lodge finished down low. The grass is all water and beautiful. Um, they're just taking care of the place. They say that um, numbers have been good as far as visitors up here, which is so awesome to hear. Things are going well on every front. There's big future for mountain biking and a ton of other stuff up here. Zip lines are getting fixed. So many things are getting fixed. Buildings are getting built. Sheds are getting put up here. There's a lot of investment going on up here. Hope you guys check in for the next video because I didn't get through half of what I wanted to share. Thanks for checking in.